are also looking to sign Eric Garcia as a potential Durian Timber replacement this summer. Yes, people, I thought we'd welcome back to another Arsenal Transfer News video. As always, if you love being kept up to date with daily Arsenal Transfer News vids, this is the place we make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 5,000 subscribers and importantly hit the notification button so you never miss a future video on this channel. Let's get straight into the tweet brought today by AFC Transfer Daily. It states this, Arsenal are considering signing Eric Garcia to replace Urian Timber and the source is Mundo Deportivo, a journalism company within Spain. Now, this is an interesting one, right? Because, of course, with Timber's injury, Arsenal have yet to sign a potential defender to replace him. Now, we brought in Urian Timber as our left-back backup, really, and he was really good. In his first couple games for Arsenal, really solid. However, unfortunately, he's torn his ACL, meaning he will be out for the majority, if not all, of the Premier League season. Meaning that, Arsenal should need to dip back into the window to sign a replacement. I thought that would then mean Arsenal do not sell someone like Kirantini, who was a natural left-back at the club, a position Tim had played in his first couple games. I was wrong with that. Arsenal sold Tierney to Real Sociedad on a, on a loan deal. He will be back next season, but that doesn't really matter because... Timber will be back next season as well. So it only makes sense then that Arsenal have technically lost two defenders in the last couple of weeks that we then go on to sign another defender. The question is, who would that defender be? Obviously now we've been linked to some, someone like Eric Garcia. It makes sense in for multiple aspects. One, he's playing for Barcelona, who we know need to sell players. In fact, their president Laporta said already multiple times that due to FFP restrictions, they can't sign any more players until they sell first. So for them to offload some players like Eric Garcia, it would make a lot of sense to them. Also, it makes sense because we know Eric Garcia was within the Manchester City Academy before moving to Barcelona. So he would have been trained by Guardiola and Arteta as well when he was there. So Arteta already has some kind of rapport and trust with the player. Now, for me, right, I do believe Arsenal should sign a, a, a defender for sure. I would rather see Arsenal target a fullback personally. Now, I don't get what this deal is with, with Gabriel. Arteta does not seem to want to play Gabriel, at least in the Premier League. I don't know why. But in the last, in, well, in the first three games this season, Gabriel's not started any of them. And last game, he reverted to playing Kivior over Gabriel. So that really does worry me regarding Gabriel's space within the side. Fortunately, Zinchenko is back fit, meaning that he will be able to play at left back position and he will be a out and out left back. Obviously, we question his defending ability, but he's been playing left-back for the past few seasons now. He knows how to play that position. Kivio, on the other hand, is not a natural left-back. So it was really strange for me to see him play there. Gabriel, of course, as well, we know, he's not a natural left-back either. So we will need some kind of backup there. Tommy Asu was playing at left-back against Crystal Palace. Of course, missed the game against um, uh, Fulham due to his suspension, but he will be back and ready to go against Manchester United. But is he still a left-back? Because for me, Tom Yossi's by trade is a centre-back or right-back. Even he's been pushed out of position to left-back. So I would rather see Arsenal target a full-back rather than a centre-back. I understand the whole system that Man City are playing where, where defenders that are primarily centre-backs are still playing at full-back. For example, yesterday, you saw Vardio playing at left-back for Man City, even though by trade he was playing as a centre-back for Croatia and RB Leipzig. So I do understand that, that play, but for me... Nothing beats an out and out left back. As long as they can defend, that's that's the real that's the real question mark. Because Carl Walker gets into the Man City team at right back. He's not a centre back. He's a full back. But the brother can defend. Yes, his pace might save him at times, but he is he is an out and out defender. Zinchenko, for all the great things he does, he lacks that defensive awareness and ability. He said it himself. He loses concentration at key moments. Against Liverpool last season at Anfield, he let Trent Alexander Arnold nutmeg him and go and cross the ball to Firmino. That is just the type of things that Zinchenko does. Whether you can coach him out of him, I don't know. But the player's already 25, 26. It's not like he's a young player anymore. He's hitting, he's hitting the prime age of his career. So the the chance of that co of the chance of coaching that out of him is basically slim to none. You are what you are at this stage of of your career, right? So I do think Arsenal should target a proper fullback. Now I've said we should go for someone like Benjamin Pavard. However, it seems though Inter Milan are the most likely team to sign Pavard, and Pavard actually was left out of the Bayern Munich sides to beat Augsburg yesterday. So. It seems as though Inter Milan are progressing a deal and Benjamin Pavard would like the move to Inter Milan as well. So if him off the table, I'm not sure what many other options are left. Of course, Eric Garcia's talked about today. I wouldn't mind bringing in Eric Garcia. I know he's better as a centre-back rather than a left-back, but you can adapt certain players. I do think Eric Garcia's got enough quality on the football to be able to play both left-back and centre-back as well, as well as being able to invert into midfield if he gets, if of course he's willing to ap apply his skills there. But the real question for me is, right, when you look at this, season and Arsenal as a whole is will we be able to compete with just Zinchenko at left back because I don't believe so 
And we've got to the stage of the transfer window now where there's only about four or five days left. There's less than a week to go in this window. I remember making these transfer videos daily and saying, it's fine, Arsenal also got time, we've got two weeks, we've got three weeks, etc. The time just keeps dwindling and dwindling away. It's like an hourglass. It just keeps trickling away. And before you know it, the transfer window wraps up in under a week's time. So the, the time is diminishing, yet also still need to address certain positions. After we signed David Wright, I expect Arsenal, especially the fact that we only got David Wright for three million, I expected Arsenal to sign at least one more big player that hasn't quite materialised. Of course, we've let Mohamed Kudus go to West Ham United, Elise staying at Crystal Palace, so the right wing positions look like it's unlikely at this stage. The left back slash centre back, I still thought I still thought Arsenal would target, especially given Timber's injury and now, of course, Kieran Tierney's departure. But the problem is now, the later and later you leave it in the transfer window, the less and less likely it is to, to uh, finalise a deal and the higher and higher the price goes. Because the clubs that are selling, especially if they're selling an asset that is worth a lot of money and they want to keep is a starter around their football club, they're going to demand a high fee because they haven't got enough time to replace that player. Which basically means at this stage, if I also want a top calibre player, we're going to have to spend an awful lot of money. And for me, that is a problem because we're just looking to bring in a player to replace Timber for this season. I wouldn't even mind bringing on someone in the lot, bringing in someone as long as it's a loan. As long as it's a competent player, I have no problem bringing in someone on a one-year loan deal, test them out, obviously cover their wages for the year, give them maybe a small sal a small fee that's under £5 million. I have no qualms with that whatsoever. But I think that would be the most appropriate play for Arsenal, most astute business that we can do at this stage, especially given that Timber, we know, would be a long-term player for Arsenal, 100%. It's just his injury that's so unfortunate that's keeping him out for basically the whole season. Season. So I think a loan deal would be absolutely perfect for Arsenal. Now, whether Barcelona would want a loan deal for Eric Garcia, I'm not too sure. Whether the other links to like Fikayo uh, Tomori from Ace Milan, whether Ace Milan would want a loan deal, loan deal, I'm not too sure either for, for them as well. So it's going to be very tricky because obviously there's a, there's a conflict of interest. Arsenal, I believe, will be looking for a cheaper deal, loan deal for a decent player, whereas the clubs obviously are looking for a transfer fee, especially if it's a good asset they have. No one wants to let go of their good players on loan. It makes no sense to them. You loan out your young players, you sell your established players for money. That's why I'm really disappointed that Arsenal only managed to loan out Tierney to Sociedad. I would have expected at least some kind of transfer fee for sure, but we only managed to get a loan deal out and it's not even with a buy option. So Tierney's coming back to the Emirates next season. If that's the case, you might as well have kept him. At least he would offer some kind of squad depth with Yuri and Timber out injured. So that one didn't really make a lot of sense to me. That completely baffles me. Maybe Arsenal looking to bring in a defender and that's why we let go of Tierney. But if we don't in the next five days, it is a massive risk. And a lot of the Arsenal fan base, should we get an injury to Zinchenko, will look back at that decision of choosing to loan out Tierney rather than sell him as a massive grave mistake on Arsenal's part. But look, there is still five days left of the window. A lot of time for Arsenal to make a move should something materialise. Of course, I'll be keeping you guys up to date with any sort of transfer news from now towards the end of the transfer. And if you do appreciate that, if you appreciate the transfer news throughout this whole transfer window, make sure you let me know in the comment section and subscribe down below if you're new around here on my road to 5,000 subscribers. I've been Michael, but I appreciate you guys all for tuning in. Make sure you drop a like down below on this video so it gets out to more people in the algorithm. And I hope to catch you all in my next one. Take care.